Hey everyone, Ben from Motive here to bring you a video on bench testing with your Reflex. So up to this point, we went ahead and updated the firmware in your Reflex, flashed the map to your Reflex, and you've completed all or at least some of the wiring and you want to test your auxiliary outputs to make sure they are configured and wired correctly. So in this example, I have an N54 powered vehicle, I have a MAC valve that is connected to AUX1, and I want to make sure that everything is good to go. So let's go ahead and jump in. First, we're going to head over to the Motive web page. We're going to get the files that we need. So we're going to want the XDF that's going to define things within the map and their locations, and the ADX that's going to allow real time communications between Tuner Pro RT and the Reflex and also to be able to send commands. So let's go ahead, we'll head over to Tuner Pro now. I'm gonna walk you through making sure that Tuner Pro is configured for live data and sending commands such as bench, bench testing. So first we're gonna head over to Tools, we're gonna to go to Preferences, all the way to the right to Data Acquisition Emulation, and then Configure Plugin Component on the left. From there, we're going to select the port type and change it to shared with emulator, and then we'll hit OK. Once we're done there, we're going to go over to view, toolbars, and then we're going to go to data acquisition, send command. This is going to allow us to send the bench test to the reflex. Now let's load the files that we're going to need. So we'll load the ADX, and we're going to load the XDF along with the current map that was provided from either your tuner or that you got from the Motive website. Now at this point, I do like to switch to parameter category. We could use either one, whichever you feel most comfortable with. Now as far as the current condition of the vehicle, I have ignition currently on, and I do have the reflex unplugged by USB. So we're going to go ahead and plug in the USB now. Windows gave us an auditory confirmation that a device has been connected. And now we're going to click here to go ahead and initialize the emulation hardware. All right, we got an auditory confirmation again that we are connected. And if you look at the bottom, it'll tell you what hardware it is and the current firmware. Now what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go to bench testing. To let you know I have Fox one hooked up. And we're going to set the duty cycle. So this is really going to depend on the type of device that you're testing. So something that's a solenoid, like a max solenoid, nitrous solenoid, methanol, injection solenoid, you can do a duty cycle within there. You just have to make sure the frequency is correct. Definitely check with your tuner for details. In this case, I'm going to set it to 50% because I know it's going to be the loudest that it will be, so it will be easily heard. So it's saved. Now, of course, if this was a secondary fuel pump that has a simple pull relay, um, you would want to set it to 100% so you can hear it prime, but something like a solenoid, if you set it to 100%, then it just stays open. You're not really going to hear it. So we have it set to 50%. We'll leave the bench runtime the same, and then just always make sure that you hit save there. Once you do that, you're going to load the map. It lets you know that the load was successful, and then we're going to go ahead and run the bench test. So we'll hit send, and we hear the Mac currently going, and the bench test has completed. So that is it. That is how you bench test with your reflex. Thank you so much for joining, and happy tuning.